Yeah. You love it. What's up? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Focus. There we go. What's going on, guys? What's going on? I'm back again tonight. We got a little different night tonight. We're going to start out with some beaver hunting. Yep. And then got some new properties going to go check out. Got that tournament coming up for coyotes. Got quite a bit of new ground to go check out for coyote hunting. So we're pretty anxious, pretty excited yeah. to get out and check that out. Yep. Tonight we're at a, uh, a co-worker's house uh, and they got a they got a nice pond out here that they're having trouble with. We've been out here before. I don't. Did we shoot a video out here before? Yeah, we did. I'll throw a card up here on the top. You guys can check that out or I'll put one down in the link. Uh, Put a link to that in the description below you guys can check that out yeah but this is a nice pond and you know the problem is once you let these beavers into your pond uh they're gonna start building up backing up your spillway they're gonna start doing all kinds of stuff so we're excited to get out here and get a couple of them down for them so they can uh enjoy their pond a little bit longer than <laughs> what it would be if they had right these beavers just running crazy yep so yeah, a little bit different night tonight. We'll start out with some beaver action and then uh, move into some coyotes and hopefully get some good footage for you guys and want to bring you guys along for the ride and see what happens. Yeah. Let's get after fun. it. All right. Going to start out here with Tim's point of view. Tim's running the Sightmark Wraith that I sold him recently. Reminder that the Sightmark Wraith does not have audio. Tim's just getting started with the Wraith and he probably has the IR adjusted a little bit too high here. I know from firsthand experience that he can see pretty well through the scope, but on the playback, it makes it a little bit blurry or not quite as bright as it should be. But as you can see, he's dead on on these two beaver he shot. Tim ends up putting a few good shots on these beaver here, and then eventually we'll switch over to my point of view on the thermal. Dead. Sounded good. Dead. We ended up killing five, possibly six beaver at that beaver lake. Uh, we did confirm five were floating and we think one of them probably sunk 
After that, we took off to check on these new coyote hunting properties for the tournament. Only made two stands that night. The moon was so bright and the wind was super calm. Uh, just not a lot of activity. Not really a big fan of hunting in super calm winds just because it gets real switchy and it's hard to predict which direction the wind's gonna flow from. We did get a few packs howling back at us, so we're pretty excited for the tournament coming up. Appreciate you guys watching. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys, bye.